quite few hormones are linked to fertility. And I'll start with the hormones linked to female fertility. Then I'll have a brief discussion about the hormones linked to male fertility. You will discover that men and women, we share the same hormones, they do things differently. I'll start with the ladies' parts. This, the hormones that are commonly uh, mentioned in any fertility discussions are FSH, LH, estrogen, progesterone, AMH, and thyroid function tests. I will be mentioning those briefly, couple of words about every hormone to, to mention their importance in fertility. FSH and LH, both of these hormones are hormones that are secreted by the brain in order to stimulate the ovary. FSH stimulates the growth of the ovary and LH comes around the mid-cycle to induce ovulation. So ladies who have no LH surge might be struggling with an ovulation problem. The third hormone that I mentioned to start with was estrogen. And estrogen is the crucial hormone. It is the female hormone. As the FSH that is secreted by the brain is stimulating the ovary, the ovary will respond by producing, in addition to the egg, the ovary will respond in producing estrogen. And estrogen is very important in thickening up the lining of the womb in preparation for an embryo to implant. After ovulation happens, the ovary will start producing a hormone called progesterone that is very important in the second half of the cycle after embryos implant to keep the embryo in place and to, to support any pregnancy if the embryo resulted in a pregnancy. Other hormones that I mentioned are the thyroid function test because any imbalance in the thyroid, which is a hormone related to metabolism, might be associated with fertility. And one hormone that I failed to mention as well is the prolactin, which is the milk hormone, which can also be associated with infertility. A hormone that is not directly related to hormonal treatment is something called AMH, which is a hormone that is related to ovarian reserve. You will discover if you go to your doctor to check your ovarian reserve or how much eggs are left in your ovaries. This is a very common hormone that blood test that is checked. This is when it comes to women. When it comes to men, I'll leave it brief. FSH and LH are present in men. FSH causes, FSH in women causes eggs to grow. FSH in men causes sperm or spermatogenesis. So in men with a low sperm count, if their FSH is very high, for instance, it speaks that the testicle is not producing the sperm. While if, the, he ha if a gentleman has a low sperm and the FSH is low, that subcategory of men might benefit from hormonal treatment to assist the testes to produce those hormones. Again, prolactin, thyroid function tests also play a role in men. You will have the chance to discuss them with your doctor to request those tests if required based on your medical history.